so what's up you guys welcome back to another vlog you guys i hope you are having a wonderful wonderful day it is a beautiful sunny day here in washington state um and um me and my son say hi elijah hi we decided to take a walk to go to the store and grab some ingredients for this baked macaroni and cheese that i'm feeling like eating and i thought it would be a great idea to bring you guys along with on our grocery list today we have some i want to get i want to use you know i'm trying to be pasta as you guys know yeah they're going to be pasta noodles but i'm trying to be a good steward over my finances um in you know just learning and so i'm trying to use what i have and then add to what i need so i have some it's not traditional macaroni and cheese it's not traditionally made with for fall for, for, for folly I don't know how you pronounce it, but I will show you guys what it looks like. It's not traditionally made with that type of noodle. However, um, that's what I have at home. So I'm gonna grab one extra bag of it and I'm gonna make it work. I'm also gonna get some Mexican. I've made a grocery list, so you know I'm getting fancy. I'm also gonna get some shredded Mexican cheese and I'm gonna get some uh, provolone shredded cheese. I have sour cream at home. I have flour at home. And I need to get some andouille sausage and some in a bag of shrimp because I love andouille sausage and shrimp inside of my baked macaroni and cheese. It's a new thing in my house and that's what we do. Whenever I make baked macaroni and cheese, that's what I add to it. Now, as we are walking, I thought it would also be a great idea for us to talk about some things that uh, some comments and just really some things that I've been noticing on social media when it comes to my son. So first of all, I wanna let you know that if you are one of those that watch me and you comment and you've made comments in the past about my son and his weight, number one, I want you to understand that I am an adult. And I shouldn't have to tell you that I'm an adult because you should know that I'm an adult, all right? So the number one is, I don't need you to tell me anything about my son's weight. I don't need you to tell me anything about how active my son is. I don't need you to tell me anything about where my son goes, what he's doing, how does he eat. I don't need you to get that invested into my son's life, okay? I want you to take the content that I'm choosing, we're gonna go up here. Take the content that I'm choosing to put out, okay? And take it for what it is. Chew up the meat and spit out the bones, okay? I don't want you to feel like it's okay for you to comment on things that I did not disclose. Just because we are choosing as a family to invite the world, so to speak, into our lives, doesn't make it okay for people to comment on things that we did not openly share. Hello. I think that it's okay to comment on things that we have, don't worry, cause I'm right here. And you know, you know me. You know me. <laughs> you know me. You know how I wrote. What do you mean, how you wrote? Come on, let's cross the street before I have to. Mm -hmm. Come on. Right there, there's a car coming. I see that car and it see me too. We cross the street cause this lady's a little crazy and she was scaring my son so we had to cross the street and look like she needs some money or something but today ain't the day sorry now let's continue the conversation come on over here baby because i got you i don't need anybody to comment on things that i did not openly disclose okay it's a very mis strong misconception of people who are internet strong thumb thugs, strong mis misconception 
is that it's okay to step over your boundaries and ask questions or make comments, derogatory comments, comments that you wouldn't want no one asking you, okay? When the person who has the chose to display the video openly in the open public did not disclose. Take what I'm giving you. You don't need to know the rest, okay? Take what I'm giving you. Comment on what I'm giving you. Comment on what I'm asking you to comment on or don't. But don't hit below the belt with derogatory comments. And I know this is gonna happen either way I say it or not. However, I wanna make an open statement that you will continuously be blocked. So by the time you're done, you will have 101,000 Google accounts messing with me. And just keep, and just stay tuned because the more God elevates my influence and my family's influence and my, my, my programming, I'm gonna have lawyers one day. And some of you who think that it's okay to harass and say derogatory things to my family, you're gonna have to answer in the court of law one day. You're gonna have to answer in the court of law one day. So I just want you to know that I might not currently be in a situation where I can exercise my attorney, my power of attorney rights, right? But it's coming, it's coming. Because it's not okay for anyone to sit behind the screen and think because they're behind that screen, they can say just whatever they wanna say without consequences, physical consequences. Because you're already gonna have consequences anyways. God is watching. Now, Elijah, I would love to get your take. And I don't know, oh, and listen, he doesn't owe anybody an explanation and I don't owe anybody an explanation. So we're not gonna go into detail about what I'm doing to make him, you know, to, to get him healthier. Like, what is he eating? We're not gonna go into that because we don't need to. But I do want my son to say a few words about what he feels about it because listen, you can't control what other people say. You can't control their narrative, but you can control yours. So I'm raising my son in a way to where he's already he's already expecting and he already knows what's out there. I don't have to hide it from him, okay? Because everything I can't block. So I'm raising him to be able to speak up and be his own voice. Here, baby. Make sure you're doing your camp vlogging thing right. All right. Put, put it up. You want to hold it up? There you go. You want me to hold it? Sure, I guess. Okay. Go ahead. He wants me to hold it. Go ahead. So, I I was just here on my mom's set, and all I need, all I have to say is to the people that just say all that stuff. All I have to do is I don't really care what they say. But I know that even if I don't care, they're just going to say it and say it over again. But all I know is, so y'all spend half of your day making other people's days miserable just because yours is miserable. That just seems very sad to me. And I feel like you need to grow up a little. Because ain't no way you're talking about a 13-year-old over a screen. And if you can't say it in my face, don't say it at all. Matter of fact, don't, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all either because it's really sad how grown people can just sit behind the screen and think they slick just talking about other kids and other people. And when I think about that, I'm thinking, wow, so these must be children. These must be children. And honestly, all I have to say is, I don't really care what you think because all I know is I'm trying to do my best to work out and all this. And I don't really need all that negative energy coming on me, weighing me down. So all I got to say is, all I got to say is to you, don't talk to me if you ain't got nothing nice to say. Matter of fact, don't talk to me at all. Oh, if you don't want to talk to me, that's all I got. That's all I got to say. But don't put my name in your mouth just because you ain't got nothing better to do and all you and you just sitting there looking by, looking at a screen and talk and writing in the comments about all this nasty stuff. Like, please grow up. And that's on period. Moving on. All right, y'all, so now we are at Winko. 
we're coming in to get what we need. So, we're gonna go down this way to get a cart, because that's what we do when we come to Wico. We get us a nice cart. We're gonna pull it from up at the front. Let me get my camera right. All right, so we're gonna grab the car. I'm gonna let my son push the wagon. You can put these on your neck. There you go. Ready? I just those them. Yeah, throw the them away. All right, let's go in. Um, I want to get in front of you because I want you to follow me. All right, so let's go around this way. So the first thing on our list is I'm going to grab some noodles. So let's go do that. Let's go do that, y'all. Grab the noodles here. Okay. So, where would they be, Bubba? Would they be way over there? The noodles. They will be, okay. Let's see. I see some box noodles over here, y'all. But I think they are on the other side of the building. So let's go over there. Excuse me. Hey, you know what? For some reason, I kind of want some tuna casserole. I had to have, I'm gonna have to make my own tuna casserole. Normally I have my mom make it but I think I can make it pretty good to my taste, to my liking. Yeah, the noodles are way down here. Let me show you. Here we are. Way down here, y'all. Okay, so here we are. So, like I said, I'm just gonna stick with what I have, All right? So, these are, here they are, bow tie. I got one other bag, but it looks different. So we're gonna stick with this because there's a million and one ways to make your macaroni and you can make it any way you want to make it. I'm going to make it the way I want to make it today. Okay. So let's go, actually, let's go back. Let's turn around and go back because there is some teriyaki sauce that I want. Now it's not to go with this current meal. You guys, I remember a time like when I was making shrimp, when I would make like shrimp Alfredo or chicken Alfredo, y'all. I literally remember buying like glass containers of, of uh, Alfredo sauce. And that's when you know you like stepped your game up as a cook because I literally don't buy those no more. I literally make my own everything from scratch. However, I do see these teriyaki sauces right here. I didn't see these last time, but this is not where I'm getting them, getting my teriyaki sauce from. Um, I'm, yes, baby. Yes. Can I just come over here just one thing? What? Get you, you want one of those hor horatas? Horatas? You want one of those? Sure. You want? You can get one of these. These are. It's only a dollar twenty-eight. Go ahead. I wanted like a little horchata. Sorry. I wanted a little snack though. Okay. Let me do what I'm doing, and as we go, just tell me what little snack you want. Okay. Let's see here. So. Um, it's on the condiments aisle. Okay. It's gotta be on the condiments aisle. Excuse me. Okay. Let's see here. Kinder. Here it is. You're okay. I just, so here it is y'all. So this is the best teriyaki sauce. I haven't tried this one. They have this one too. They had this one too with sesame and ginger. 
I haven't tried that one, but this is the one I put on my wings and it was absolutely delicious. They also have a huge brand, a huge variety of Kinder here, you guys. And in my opinion, the price is not that bad compared to like Costco. No, not Costco, compared to uh, like um, Walmart. Kinder's good. Yeah. Kinder is very good. Never get this. Never get this. Even Sweet Baby Ray's, in, you know, I wouldn't get. I would get the Kinder. Roasted Kinder. By far my I, this right here, this Cali Gold is so good. Even, and look, and it costs less than the other ones. I've tried this. It is amazing. Okay. I like it. This Roasted tastes like Splenda. I'm sorry, but sorry. Sorry, but uh, it tastes like Splenda. Never tried Stubbs before. Might try them in the future. This looks like a really nice chili lime oh, so, you're gonna do G. Jorge, so uh, let's go ahead and like put that, that there huh you gonna go do g jorge's smokehouse like that yeah i'm sorry baby but your your stuff tastes like straight up splenda come anyway on. come on <laughs> maybe he changed the recite but to me uh-uh let's keep going let's keep going sugar now we are going to get some avocados because we love to eat avocados in my family and we don't have any more and we love to come to winko and get our avocados because they cost less let's come over here and sh let me show you what i need mean. here they are and they're actually almost out which is interesting but it's definitely the season so right now they're 68 cents when this winko first opened up they were 48 cents but that is still a very good price better than walmart and fred meyer and Safeway. oh yeah never go to fred meyer's for for avocado and fred meyer will just rip you off every time like when i when i go to fred meyer i go there to get a few items i don't go there to grocery shop completely because their prices are always like inflated mom look at Safeway. come on in and get a bag elijah i need some help look at Safeway. look how yeah, Safeway too. Like, your hair's like patched down because of the headphones. Okay. Oh, go I, ahead, baby. I don't know why I'm sweating. I'm sorry. It's, we just walked. We literally just walked here. Why would you not be sweating? You're barely sweating. Uh huh? You're barely sweating because you got a hat on? That could be. Okay, fill them first. You got to make sure you. Too hard. We don't want them all like. Let me do it and let me just pass it to you. Let me do it. Here. I'll pass it to you. Okay. I'll pass it to you. Let me feel. Here. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll pass them. Because I want to get a few that are that are like kind of soft. And then because they only take like two days to get to get soft. Alright, so this should be enough right here. I'm an expert. Uh oh, careful. There you go. I'm an expert when it comes to avocados. You're an expert. Okay. Yeah. Just put it in the back so you don't drop it. Go ahead. Here. All right. No, I want I want to I want a couple of them a little hard. Put One it back day in and there. a half. One day and a half. One day and a half. <laughs> All right. Put that in there. Sit that down and let's keep going. We're almost done. Oh, I thought you were going to get some long necks. Long necks. What are you talking about? Long neck noodles. What is that? You oh, you talking about spaghetti noodles? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where he got that word long neck from, but no, sir. All right, let's keep going. Let me show y'all the candy section. So this is when the kids be, have been behaving section, when they've been behaving or they did something nice um, or you're celebrating them, you come over here and get them some candy, you know? Come get them a little bit. My favorite. I really love how they make fresh butter here. They make fresh peanut butter and um, cashew butter. Oh, I didn't notice they had blue agave. $21 though. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't use it do that much need? to get that. I don't use it that often or that much to get it. Yeah. Here is all of the candy. My favorite are these over here. I love me. A nice lemon head but when i when i get them i literally can eat a whole bunch of them so for the person that was saying that clifton never i never let my husband get anything that he wants to get you were saying that because you were referring because when he was asking for the coffee but baby look at this price the price is better here than other places it's better to get your coffee here because it's better than other places 
I don't know if they have organic anywhere. Espresso. Organic? Yeah. Some yeah, they have organics right here. So it's still a better price to get your coffee here because when you grind up the coffee beans, it's really not that heavy. You got espresso roast. It's really not that heavy. So you can get a, 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 a nice hefty pound, like probably fill up a whole bag for just like a pound or a pound and a quarter. And the then the price is $7.98. So that's what I was, when I was telling my husband not to get the um, coffee at Costco, that's why, because it's fresher here, because you're grounding it, so the, those oils are gonna be fresher in the bag, um, and it costs less, and they do have some organic selections, and so it's a win-win situation if you come here. And so, if you're one of those health food people, you got your whole black chai seeds, right, chia seeds here, you got your almond flour, so these are all the different flours, and then we have our sugars. We have all the different kinds of sugar from the healthiest to the worst. You even got your monk fruit sweetener, which is a good sweetener, good for you. You got your organic. Like you just come and fill up. If you're a cake maker or pie maker or whatever, you got your chocolate. You got your semi-sweet one. That's the healthier one. So, and then you have your, of your sweeter chocolates up here. So, and then my favorite section over here is the rice. You know? They even have the bow tie here. And I didn't know that they had the bow tie over here. So you can even come and get your macaronis and stuff like that. But I'm gonna, you know what? How much was, Elijah, how much was this? How much was this one again? It was $1.28. Let me see how many ounces is in this one. So this is a pound. This is still, I think this is still less because this is a pound. And it was like it was like a dollar twenty eight, so it was less than this. So that would be a better choice. What I just got. Yeah. If I'm if I'm, oh that coffee smell good. Oh my god, it smelled good. I don't even like coffee, and it smelled good. So, um, but yeah, if you just want a little bit, like maybe you, you know you don't want more or less, you know, bam. And then they got the traditional macaroni noodles here. They got Parmesan cheese. Like stop for real, Parmesan cheese. Now, they did take it up in price because, come on now, let's be honest, it's light food, so it's not going to be that heavy. So you will notice that the foods that are less heavy, like they're lighter, they're going to charge, charge you more. Then they got the real cheap macaroni noodles up here. Like, look at this. Look at these prices. Look, look at that. Then they got the whole wheat. So, like, stop playing with me. Scoot back, scoot, honey. Cheap, right? And then if you're a healthy person, once again, they have quinoa. They have red quinoa. They have tricolor. They have white organic. Look, they have organic. Look, this is better than whole food. Stop playing. Stop playing. Now, our favorite rice, and I'm sure they have to fill it often, is this basmati rice. And it's our favorite because literally when you cook it, it doesn't stick. The grain, if you don't want your grains to stick together and you wanna make like fried rice, like literally, this rice is the best to get and it's actually not bad. Look at the price per pound. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Like basmati rice costs a lot in, in all different kinds of places. Now, people will tell you when you're getting rice that you typically wanna get um, organic because of the heavy metals that are in the soil um, is, it, the rice gets contaminated with it. So if you're gonna get rice, not not or either get organic, they say, or you get the long grains. The long grain rice or the wild rice. So this would be a good alternative if you're like a person that is healthier, they, they still have it. Now notice the price is more, but this is an alternative. This is a good alternative. Also the ancient grain blend. So any kind of wild rice is gonna be, is gonna have less of the heavy metals um, or anything like that. But we don't worry about that, okay? And actually they say that the brown rice is worse than the actual, the brown rice is worse than the actual white rice. Yeah. But anyways, let's keep moving because I think I said enough about rice. Yes, you said enough about rice. We're gonna get Mexican cheese here. So that's $6.98, and I need a little bit more. Is Parmesan cheese or mozzarella cheese? That is mozzarella cheese, my love. A mozzarella cheese is a But that one is not really meant to um, melt. That one is like 
meant to eat with like hors d'oeuvres and stuff well, like that, like crackers. I know. Just slice. And, there, and there's also a way you can uh, make a caprese salad with mozzarella cheese. Oh yeah, caprese. Yeah. Caprese salad. It's called caprese. Yeah, caprese oh, okay. salad. Oh, see, I you thought put, it was called caprese. You put tomatoes and mozzarella. Yeah. And you put an oil over it, and it's really good. Yeah. Who taught you that? Uh, we, I've never made that. Excuse uh, me. I, I saw it on like a, I saw it like on an animated show, and they were making it. And yeah. He would use it as his diet, so whenever he wanted like something like, like something good but still healthy, he would make a caprese salad. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I, that's that's crazy. That I guarantee you, Nana doesn't know that. She doesn't know nothing about it. That sounds good. We we that that would be something we could eat for the uh for the cool of the summer, like summertime. That yeah. would be like a cool like yeah, and cold it's snack. Cold too, and it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. You just slice the the, the cheese and put the um oil, oil anchovy oil. oil oh oil. man, that sounds good. We're gonna have to do that. We're gonna have to do that. Cause that sounds good. Like we might have to do that and make that make that a mukbang. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call it finger food mukbang. Huh. What? Finger food mukbang for the summertime. That'd be great. I think it'd be great. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this mozzarella cheese because it is 2.48, and I don't need a whole whole lot of cheese. So I think that's a reasonable price. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this mozzarella to make it nice and cheesy. And we're done with the cheese. So about. 10 bucks here we spent so far on the cheese so we've spent a bit so this is currently we're about we're at about maybe 12 13 bucks maybe 14. so now here's where the real money comes in let's go get the shrimp come on you good let's go get the shrimp all right so i think we're going to just get this you guys they also give you the shrimp in bulk like if you want to get shrimp in bulk they have it like look this is called farmed shrimp raw 16 to 20 pieces and it is i don't know if it's tiger or not i'm not seeing that but now they do say that farm shrimp is not as good to get than the wild shrimp only because um the farm shrimp is fed a, a injected i believe with a chemical called beta carotene which changes the color of it um i'm not really sure you guys but it's something like that like matter of fact let's look and see if it'll tell us so we got to retain moisture, shrimp, water, salt, sodium. I'm really not sure. I have to get better at reading these. So I did hear that the wild shrimp was better to get. These look like they've been in here for about, um, they look like they had a, definitely had a wild life. So I'm not gonna get these, get those. And I actually think I'm just gonna go ahead and get cooked shrimp so I don't have to do all the extra work. I could literally just wash them off and probably just throw them into the macaroni or saute them lightly for like a, a minute or two and throw them in there with the sausage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get cooked shrimp and I'm not gonna worry about whether or not if it's farmed or wild. Cause we're just literally, like the whole dish to begin with is not really the healthiest. And so we're just gonna cut where we can and make it do what it do. Okay, so these, oh, and oh, I'm noticing actually that the cooked costs more. I don't want to get the small ones. I want to get the medium ones. However, I'm looking at that price and because we are being good stewards, I might just go ahead and see if I can get the raw because it costs less and it's already peeled. It's larger, already peeled, debate until on. So why pay roughly what, seven, eight, three extra bucks roughly for cooked shrimp when I can really just cooking myself so i think i'm gonna get this the tail is on still on i don't know why i'll be real particular i'm just gonna grab this one because it just looks more fresher but yeah so this is 580 5.98 so let's move on ready now we're moving on to the sausage you guys yeah it, today ain't wednesday let me see Normally we get the sushi on Wednesday because of the price. Can we find? Okay. 
Yeah, so, uh, 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 uh. so you're gonna get something down here. You guys, even their sushi, it's called Snow Fox Sushi. They do five dollars on Wednesday. They do accept EBT if you have those EBT benefits. Um, it's fresh sushi because they're here cooking it all day long, and um, not cooking it. Well, they're making it all day long, probably cooking the rice. Um, but anyways, the prices on their sushi are actually more reasonable than I've seen in any other grocery store in Tacoma. Because look at the prices here. Like normally when a sushi roll has cream cheese in it, it costs more than this. Um, now I'm not saying this is the healthiest. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying if you want a nice cold can snack, you can do it. Now these probably cost more because of the fish eggs they put on them. And they also have three rolls and they have a bunch of different sauces on them, huh? Can I get this? This one? Yeah. Spicy salmon roll? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Since he came with me, why not? <laughs> Gotta treat the kids. So that's your snack, right? Yeah. All right. Hello. Yes, my son is like me in that aspect. He loves sushi. Okay. At first it was weird eating raw salmon, but I kind of got used to it. Elijah, where do you think the, the hot, like the hot dogs and stuff are? I know where they are. Oh, they're right here. Yeah. <laughs> this is where your raw meats are, you guys. They have all the raw meats over here. Okay. Okay. So... My favorite is the andouille sausage, and in my opinion, I think it's a reasonable price even here. $3.88. I don't think you can get it for that price anywhere else. What? Can I get smoked? Can I get smoked? No, I love the andouille. The andouille is smoked. It says it. Okay, you guys, so here's our list. Y'all tell me if we're done or not. So we got, we got the, go ahead and call out, call the list off. For, Shredded to, Mexican cheese, avocado. From the top. Okay. <laughs> Farewell noodles. Farewell. <laughs> yes, we got those. One bag of shredded Mexican auto cheese. Yep, we got that. Adio sausage. Uh, andouille. Got that. Bag of shrimp. Got that. A bottle of what in the world is this? A bottle uh, of teriyaki? Yeah. Yes, got that. Okay, I don't know the first word, so I'm going to just say teriyaki. Okay. And one bag of provolone shredded. Yep. Well, I didn't get provolone. I got mozzarella, but that's okay. All right. All right. We're ready to go. We got everything we need. I was not even going to attempt to save the person. All right. And because the child came with us, we had to let him get a few items for himself. So we got everything we need, you guys, to make this macaroni and cheese. And we're out of here. So today we have cash. So we're going to go ahead. We could stand in the lines. We're gonna go ahead and go to self-checkout. Very thankful to God that the self-checkout is not packed. Cause normally for the cash section, it is. Okay, I'll do this part there. I'll cash you your stuff back. Well, no, I can't cash you your stuff back because, um, because uh, it's like uh, they want your stuff to stay there. Put it here. Eight. 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 Yeah, if you want to fill up this bag for me. Let's see what they say. Please wait for assistance. Okay. Go ahead, put that in there. Go ahead. They just have to check the weight on the bag. No, no, no. Leave this stuff there. Put it stay right there. They just have bag. Thank you. All right. There we go. Three, eight, eight. Five, nine, eight. Go ahead and get these. Normally you can scan it. No, you can't scan it, you guys. You can't scan it. All you do is is put in the code here. Four zero four six into code and you give them the quantity two four six seven we have seven four seventy six for seven avocados 
Can't beat it with an AB. Please, can I sleep with? It would be 11. <laughs> and you can't forget Mr. And you can't forget the famous teriyaki marinade. It's called Mr. Kinder. All right, step on back, sir, and let your mom put the cash in. Register. I got cash. So our total, our total is thirty-seven ninety-eight, thirty-seven eighty-nine. I think that is a reasonable price. We actually, our total for our stuff. So, actually, let's take off. Let me see. Nine. Take off about nine or ten dollars. Our total was actually around twenty-seven dollars for this for the ingredients. Mind you, I have some ingredients at home, so we're gonna go ahead and pay. Put our money in. Put that cash money in. Twenty-seven ninety-nine. Wait, no bags. Make sure you bring your own bags. You don't want to pay for your own bags for zero. For a bag. You don't want to have to pay for your own bags, honey. Give me my change. There's my receipt. Put that in my bag. Got my money. Got my change. Elijah, huh? Elijah's going to close this out. Hold this for a second. Okay. I'll put my stuff away. All right, that's the end of our vlog. That's the end of our vlog, a walking and talking vlog. But it was nice speaking with y'all for, it was nice speaking with y'all. I think we're gonna do a video on this. Yeah, tell them to go over to our YouTube channel. Go over uh, to our channel. YouTube channel because we're gonna do a mukbang for this. And also go on my mom's vlog channel because. This is going on the vlog channel. Yeah, just subscribe if you want. It helps out a lot. Thank you guys. So that is it. We're done. Got it? You didn't want to put your, your drink in the back? Yeah. Yeah. Is that Facebook? No, no, no. This is YouTube. Okay. Yeah. You you are you are are you a YouTube? You on no, YouTube? I, I try to do Facebook Live, but Oh, yeah, no. This is uh YouTube. We don't have a Facebook yet. Okay. We're gonna get one though. Yeah. Have a good day. You too. Alrighty. Come on, son. All right, you guys. So we're getting ready to go. Put the cart back. One thing I love about Winko is that they don't check your grocery bags when you're walking out of the store. They're not like Costco and um, uh, knock off Walmart because Walmart checks your, sometimes they check your receipt, sometimes they don't. Remember to leave us a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Share our video, you guys, because we are do coming out with bangers all summer long. Love y'all so much. And remember to stay blessed, stay positive, and be safe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.